you know, um, what really changed? Because I remember when we had our first interview, and you didn't get into numbers, but you said the Def Jam gave you a, a big, big bag. Yeah. Was it a big check up front? Yeah, it was a big, big, big check. <laughs> you threw three bigs in there. Yeah, three bigs. A big, big, big check. Big, big checks. What did you do when you when you first uh, you know deposited that money in the bank and you know you could actually pull some out? Um, I went to Louis Vuitton store and spent fifteen thousand. Okay. When I first got my check, I went to Louis Vuitton store. So, how did you spend your first million dollars? Um, I spent that thing quick. Well, that thing went like within like eight months. Um, you blew through a million in eight months. Yeah. And you're how old at that time? I was eighteen. 18 years yeah, 18. old. You do not give a 18 year old a million dollars. That, yeah, that is not yeah. always the best idea. Yeah, I, I went like quick to like like taxes 200. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's going off the roof. Oh, really? Well, gave, well, I guess Florida, you, you get a little bit of a break. Gave my mama like 100, 120. Yeah. Gave my daddy like 100. Okay. So that's half, my, half gone right yeah, there. It's already gone. You got right half right. a million left. Yeah. It just, so, so where's the rest going? It's but. Spent almost a hundred of clothes, shoes, and stuff. Passing like during the time, um, just buying unnecessary, unnecessary, unnecessary things. Just like don't make any type of sense. And then by the time you know it, I call my accountant. <laughs> yeah, you need some more money. Like, what was the? If you look at like all your purchases, right? I mean, I can think of all the dumb shit I bought over the years. Like. What was the single thing that you wish you could just rewind and <laughs> say, let me just not buy that? I don't, but to be honest with you, man, I don't rewind nothing. Really? Like, nah. Like, um, I always attract money, man. Like, like I always get it. Like, like, like I, it's just always been in me, but I never would go back and rewind certain things because it was, it was already ready. It already happened. It's supposed to happen. And I look at it as it's making me better in life. And if you know, and you just learn from the things, just, you know, you just move on and, you know. Okay, because didn't you lose like a, a $325,000 earring at yeah, one point? Yeah, like 300, yeah, 200,000. Okay, is that the nah, earring that you were not 300, these, I got spun way less than like, like 80. Okay, like like 300, I'm trying to think, because I know, I know diamonds a little bit. What is that, like six, seven carats? It was six carats a piece. There yeah. you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's what. I'm, so Flawless. both earrings got lost. Flawless. Yeah. No. Um. One of them got lost, and um. I had other places like it was, it was crazy stuff. Like Sharon's just gave me both of, for both of them. Okay. So how do you lose? So, so was that one earring three hundred or both were three hundred? Both. Okay. Both. So it's like a yeah. hundred sixty-five. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. So so how did you lose a hundred sixty-five thousand dollar earring? On a plane. Yeah, I was oh. sleeping. Yeah, and it just just dropped out. So you woke up. Woke up. Went to the hotel. So, oh, you didn't even notice it was gone? Yeah, I know. I, I ain't noticed until like, like three hours later. What type of panic did you have when you just realized you left a hundred sixty thousand dollar earring Man, I don't know. Uh, and, on a plane seat? Oh no, I never do it again though. Okay, were they insured? Yeah, they was insured, but sure. So yeah. you called the insurance company. Yeah, yeah they I, gave you the money back. Quick. Quick. Quick, like within like two weeks. Okay, didn't Chad Johnson? You kind of go back and forth over this. Yeah, Chad. Yeah, yeah. He like get some clears, but I can't get no goddamn clears and rings, man. Well, he he's big on fake jewelry. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know if you ever heard of this whole thing, but but he he actually and, and he has money, right? Yeah. He has millions of dollars. Yeah. But he's always said like, you know, even during his like NFL days, that he would buy fake Audemars and shit like that, and when he would go to the club and have the same effect. So he just didn't give a shit. I you know, feel, the girls I don't, are still fucking. I feel fuck like nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah, yeah I'm not niggas, tripping. A lot of these niggas be wearing fake shit, man. Like, like you just gotta understand, all this shit hit the same these days. Everything, you don't know what's real or what's fake these days, man. Like niggas be having fake all type of shit, and they be all that cap shit, man. Niggas, niggas be niggas be. I know, I know, I know a lot of niggas be wearing fake shit. Yeah, I've never, I've never been in a fake shit myself, but you know, if you want to do it, I, I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. You I know? used to wear fake shit though. You wore fake shit? Yeah, when I was younger. Yeah, I was like, I used to like, I feel like if I wear, like, I always kept on, always kept, um, uh, um, dollars in my pocket and pretend it was hundreds. Huh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I put the hundreds on top of my my dollars and like another hundred on on in the backside, make it look like it's all hundreds. And I used to wear like fake MCM bags. I used to wear fake Gucci. Like I used to wear all type of fake shit. And then I got a real now. I got a, I got it now. So like now it's like 
it's nothing. Like I just buy buy it all. 